Hi, today we're gonna make a little app that is working with Kinter. We're gonna in his different images that makes the GIF and then we are going to save all the images for the GIF. We got two examples here taken from the internet. This is the original image and these are the single images that are generated with this script. We got the name here of the or the file here. I got just the functions. Want to unpack the GIF that is loading the GIF. It recognizes if there are some images that are uh, with disposal equal to it means that it's not a complete image but there are just a different among a frame and the previous one so to avoid that saving each of these frames we could have just some parts of the of the total image that we see in the gif when we convert it to a png so we passed the let's call them uncomplete frames uh, we will pass them on the previous one so that they will, will be completed and also when they are saved as single png files instead that one gif so this takes this output here that is a list with all the, the images made in and so made complete to say so and with this save or frame function here that that calls the this function and then saves with a different name the single images so converted in PNG. This makes all but the thing is that here we got we have to change the name of the file. We don't want to change the code to to take another file and get the images from from it. We want to use Skinter and we we'll import not simple dialog, file dialog. We want to get the name of the file from file dialog dot ask open file name and then we have initial there is the same one where we launch this file and I think we also need some other arguments in here like here Let's start the window. Let's put also initial file, then file, file types, but this one. file name just to see if it works so maybe we want also to create a button here for the it doesn't start at the beginning we also want to create another button Two. Main loop.
Okay, open GIF. Take this. And then we have this other button here. Okay, we need to save all frames. Maybe we could also see the See the image here. Use a respect to see it. And so we need to bring take the the first item of this list. You see here, but we don't see the image because we need to store it somewhere. Otherwise, it will be deleted. It won't be stored as a local function here. So we do get file dot image equal emg. Okay, now we got it, and uh, so we can see what we choose. As you can see here, we don't have an image. If we go and print this, let's give some color here to this button. This image instead of this, you see now it's colored differently.
Okay, so we finally made it and we created the exe file. And so, if you like the video, uh, hit button and uh, maybe subscribe to my channel and see you next time. Thank you.